What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a speed boost play skin for ranked regulation F. Now, play skin I used in the past on the casual ladder before this Pokemon was allowed to be used in ranked. Let me tell you, this Pokemon was insanely strong. It boosted speed at the end of every single turn due to its ability. Pair that up with Sword Dance, you can boost its attack, and then this Pokemon can sweep left and right. Blaziken, in this instance, is holding the Life Orb. I actually like to focus Ash better on the speed boost Blaziken, but Life Orb works because it can do some crazy damage. And the moveset consists of Sword Dance, Protect, Close Combat, and Flare Blitz for an amazing moveset. You can boost attack, you can protect to get the speed boost, and then you have two heavy hitting stat moves. Really can't go wrong with Blaziken. The team also features another off meta Pokemon, which is gonna be Empoin. I love this Pokemon so much. The Gen 4 Water Starter with Competitive and the Assault Vest to kind of deal with uh, those Intimidate users, such as Incineroar. You get a free plus two special attack boost. Pretty much set up that Empoleon right off the rip. Empoleon's got Vacuum Wave, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump. Really am liking that move set. Our two support Pokemon on today's team is Tornadus and Amoongus. We can redirect shots and put Pokemon to sleep with Amoongus, and then Tornadus can get Speed Control and Weather Control, which I absolutely love. Final two Pokemon are going to be Paradox Pokemon. First one is going to be Loaded Dice Rolling Moon with Protosynthesis, and then Protect Scale Shot Knock Off with Dragonance. And last but not least, we are rocking out with Fluttermane with Booster Energy and a Stellar Terror type with Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Moon Blast. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? The the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Speed Boost Blaziken. Hopping into our first match, going up against a Gouging Fire team. They also have Wellspring Ogre Pond, alongside with Annihilate Grimmsnarl for screens. Kind of annoyed at that. And then Roar Moon and Amuga. So we have no way of taking out screens. Kind of... I hate it. I hate going up against screens when I can't take them out, especially with like psychic fangs in the game. I oh, would love to just be able to take out screens right now. But from here, I feel like now would be a good time to lead like a setup user, such as either Roaring Moon or Blaziken, either Sword Dance or Dragon Dance, right? That seems like my best bet. Because if I can get that Sword Dance set up, we can really get ro rolling. They don't really have any first turn priority Pokemon. I love Blaziken here. So I'm going to lead Blaziken. Do I need a. Weather slash speed user, or do I just go Amoongus and maybe just start rage powdering out? And that might be a better call for me. So I'm gonna go in with Amoongus alongside with Blaziken. I'm gonna bring Fluttermane in the back end with the booster energy. I don't wanna see what stats can be boosted speed. So that'll be good late game. And last but not least, do we go Roaring Moon or Empoleon? Let me check out Roaring Moon's stats, because Roaring Moon's I'm kinda leaning towards that. Yeah, high attack, high speed. Really liking it, right? I am loving it. I'm loving it. So I'm going to go Roar Moon here. We're going to lock it in. Lock it down. Look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're going to lead. They have a few different options, but definitely Grimmsnarl, right? If I were them, it's Grimmsnarl City all day. When I see a team that cannot break screens or anything, I always lead my screen user if I am rocking out with a screen user. It just makes the game so much easier. And just having screens up is just amazing. But we're going to look to try to bypass screens by setting up a source dance, if that's the case. And it is the case. So Galaxy Fire comes out here. Alongside with with Grimstone. So he's going to actually boost your energy right off the rip. Pop its Protosynthesis and boost its speed. Which I, I don't really care for, right? This play skin will eventually be able to outspeed it. I think now's a nice little Sword Stance play. And for you, you can go straight Fire Terror, which is a perfect Terra. And just Rage Powder the this, this shot, right? But chances are, it's going to be like, okay, I'll set up a Reflect. And then he'll probably go for like a Fire Move into the slot right yeah it makes the most sense so i'm just gonna rage power the shot i'm gonna allow blaziken to set up that sword dance no problem and get his free plus one uh speed boost right and then the next turn i could always spore i could always spore and protect blaziken to get another speed boost because i'm not too sure how fast this galaxy fire is with a speed boost on protosynthesis so maybe we might need to uh plus or we might need to be plus two on speed to actually outspeed it so, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. Talk about Terrastalize the Moongus. I feel like a Moongus actually gets a lot of value out of Terrastalization. As a support Pokemon, like, it is probably the most Terrastalized support Pokemon. Because it's just so good. It's just so good with Terror types. Especially with this Fire Terror type up against Grimstrong and Gouging Fire. It works perfect. So, he's going to end up going for a Burning Bulwark here. Just try to protect the shot here. I ended up Terrastalizing. And I just go for a Rage Powder. I just go for a Rage Powder here. So Grimstone, like I said, probably setting up a Reflect. No, a uh, Light Screen. Okay, that's fine. 
There's such a blade screen turn one, and I get off this free swords dance. Making me want to go for potentially another one, right? Do I just go for another one? I could go for another one. How did I lose HP? Wait a minute. How'd you lose HP? Am I am I missing something? How do you lose HP? They use burning bulwark and reflect and I sword stance. Wait a minute. Oh, I changed my typing so black sludge. Yeah, that's so that's so annoying, but whatever. Whatever. I'll explain after I pop another sword stance for HP again. So black sludge actually does damage me because I'm not a poison type anymore. Instead of giving me HP. I was so confused. I was like, how did I just take damage? I was so confused. But from here, we'll rage powder again. I will sacrifice that little bit of HP from Black Sludge. He's gonna go for a breaking swipe. Rather annoying there. And I'm just gonna protect and spore at this point, right? Yeah. Protect and spore. So I'm just gonna go for a sword dance. And we'll see how this next turn's gonna play out here. Because I'm gonna Black Sludge and lose HP. <laughs> That's so funny. So now Blades can sit in here. I'm gonna go plus three. I'm just gonna protect you. And I'm just gonna put. This guy to sleep, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna put him to sleep and then start recovering Boyskin's HP. So I'm plus three on attack because he did break and swipe lower my attack. I'm kind of hoping he's, he's gonna do that again, right? He's gonna withdraw the Grim Snarl here. So Grimmy Grim gets to withdraw here. And who are you going into? You're gonna go into a Moogus of your own. So protect coming out from the Boyskin. I like this a lot. He's going to go for another Breaking Sweat. Beautiful. 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 So we're playing this one nice and slow. Playing this one nice and slow. I'm going to be able to put you to sleep. And from here, um, just start taking out Pokemon, right? Now let's start attacking. I'm plus three on speed and attack with the Life Orb. I can start Palm Puffing with Amoongus while Black Sludge starts to take me out. And we'll kind of go from there, right? I think that's your best bet. But from here, I really want to just go for a Flare Blitz. You might Terrasilize. If you Terrasilize, you Terrasilize. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to Pollen Puff here. Into the Blaze King. Just give it back some HP. He might put me to sleep, but no. He's just going to stay in here. Flare Blitz is going to say, see you later to Amoogus. Get it on out of here. Now, I was going to close combat just in case it Terrasilize. But I'm going to get hurt by Rocky Helmet. I'm going to take Life Orb damage. But again, I'm Pollen Puffing. I want that HP back. And recoil. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Chill. That's got to stop. That's got to stop. That damage was insane. <laughs> Pile Puff going to come over here. We are getting some HP back. I would love to Pile Puff uh, Blaziken up again. But dude, I took out like 100 of my own HP. Recoil, Rocky Helmet, and Life Orb. Just doing me dirty. So we still have him asleep. Gouging Fire. Um, In the back end, I might need... Pokemon here. You have, uh, he's gonna come out here. I might just take out the. Who should I go after here? I have these two Pokemon in the back end, which isn't bad. I mean, I got Scale Shot. I have really solid speed on you, but you're. Mm, I think I might just take out the Gouging Fire here. And then just Rage Power the shot. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because you might Terrasilize. He just ends up protecting. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I have Rage Powder regardless. Um,. Close combat should be able to just jump on Gouging Fire, plus three stab, life or boost, getting after it. Close combat coming in hot here. Oh my lord, you survived that. You survived that. That's a little absurd. That's a little absurd that you survived that. It's bulky. You're gonna wake up, aren't you? I have a feeling. Yep, you woke up. Breaking swipe? What are you doing here? Blaziken should be able to soak that. No, it doesn't. Ouch. So Blaziken doesn't soak that, but now I can just bring out Fluttermean, right? Now I can just bring out Fluttermane, which is solid because Gouging Fire is on 1 HP. Amoogus actually dies out the Black Sludge. That's so funny. This is just such a weird match for my Pokemon. We're losing so much HP to our own nonsense. <laughs> it's just so crazy. <laughs> it's just so crazy. But I get to bring out both of these guys, and it's something I really like because I get to boost my speed of Pro Synthesis, making me outspeed Gouging Fire, which is massive. So I can just pop a Dazzling, finish that off, and then just double down into into what's it called 
into this roaring moon. It's so funny. Cool. So they still have Terra. Um, I would think they would terrestrialize this guy right here. But I'm just going to stick with a scale shot and stick with the Dazzle Gleam, right? If they don't terrestrialize, he's dead. He just dies. So he has to terrestrialize. An absolute must from the Thrasilis. Yeah, so he's gonna Thrasilis. I probably should have went for a knockoff instead, but you know, it's fine. I'd rather just get off some big time stab damage, especially with the loaded dice. So he's gonna go straight poison. A nice lovely poison type onto this thing. So Gals and Fire might burning bulwark. That is definitely an option for him. And yeah, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Burning bulwark. Nice little move right there. And Dazzling Lean is going to fly over here. So as long as Fluttermate survives whatever shot this Raging Bolt, well not Raging Bolt, um, oh dang man, yeah I was gonna say whatever shot this thing has to offer we win this match, but yeah this one just didn't go our way, I'll be honest with you, if we, mm, we would have taken out that Gadget Fire that would have been massive, but now we're sitting here in a 2v1 situation with Scale Shot flying, can we get another one, no we get four. Curse the soul and my defense drops, but we get a nice lovely speed boost. My defense down in the dumps. I do get a speed boost here. Um, huh. I kind of need to land a five shot here, but he's just going to break and swipe me. This one's over. I don't have Terra. I do not have Terra. Dang, that really hurts. He ends up protecting me. Wow, if I would have went after this thing, he would have gave me a shot. He would have gave me a shot because I outspeed. That outspeed, but yeah, this one, just no-go. So we boosted our Blaziken up here. Wasn't able to take out the Galaxy Fire, which is definitely upsetting. Breaking Swipe going to come out here. Put us on 19 health. And that's just going to be the match. So I'm going to run this one. We end up losing it. Let's go hop into our second match. Look for our first victory. I'm still super surprised that plus three close combat did not KO that Galaxy Fire. Let me see Blaziken's stats real quick. It should be maxed out on attack, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's still, yeah, it just throws me off. I was gonna say, if it wasn't maxed out on attack stat, it would make sense, but it is. But it's fully maxed out on attack. That's just crazy how that Galaxy Fire was able to outbulk that shot. But we're hopping into our second match. I'm promising you guys a victory here. We're going up against Murkrow. Little Crow. Little Crow guy with Incineroar, uh, Orangaroo, Pop Trick Room, and then Ursaluna, Thrive in Trick Room, Golden Go, and Walking Wake. So, Pokemon that I actually like here would be, hmm, I could actually go competitive and pull in. I don't think that would be bad if they want to lead Intimidate, but a Pokemon that I think they could potentially lead is going to be like Orangaroo. Orangaroo is not a bad lead. Um, do I go in with uh, Fluttermane? I kind of want to go in with you, right? I like that. I could also taunt the Orangaroo, who could be Mental Earth. Could be mental hurt, but you know what? I'm gonna take that risk. I'm gonna go these two Pokemon. Hope that that thing's not mental hurt. If they want to pop trick, if not, we can just pop tailwinds, all that good stuff. Then in the back end, go Blaziken. <clears throat> and last but not least, get the Flutter main rolling. I love it, I like it a lot. So let's see who they end up leading. It's either Murkrow or Ranger, right? Because they either want to get the tailwind going or the what's called going or the trick room going. I'm kind of hoping it's a Ranger without the mental hurt because, like I said, I can just do a little bit of hand motion taunt. Tell it to get on over here and uh, <clears throat> stop that, which would be good. But they end up leading <clears throat> Incineroar, which is massive. I get competitive on my, on my Empoleon. Going plus two right off the rip. So that's huge. <clears throat> it is huge. So they're probably going to fake out my Empoleon most likely. If they do, they do. It's not that big of a deal. I don't. I have Assault Vest, so I have a bunch of different moves. And from here, I would love to just drop a Hydro Pump in this slot. So I'm going to go Hydro Pump. And I'm going to go for the Taunt. I'm definitely going to go for the Taunt. Hopefully this thing is not mental. Hurt. So he ends up faking out my Empoleon, right? Yeah. Not very effective. They do get the flinch. We're gonna end up taunting this thing. No mental herb we're hoping. Hoping no mental herb, right? And they're always mental. Herb. They're just always mental. I should have just attacked. I should just attack. They're always mental herb. Always. Every single time. Every single time. So they get trick room off. Every single time they're mental. Herb. They get trick room off, and from here, I have to save a grass terra. I have to save her Grass Terror just for the what's it called, right? The Ursula. So I'm gonna Hydro Pump this slot. I am just gonna go into a Bleak Wind Storm, I guess. And just go from there. So we're just gonna look to get off some value with this, uh, with this Tornadus. So it ends up withdrawing Rangro, probably going into Ursula, correct? Makes the most sense. And they might just parting shot, which if you parting shot, that's right, totally fine. Then you're gonna go into this slot. You're just gonna do a Drain Punch. You're rock why are you rocking Drain Punch? 
Why are you rocking Drain Punch? Hydro Pump should KO you. Plus two on special attack. Super effective. Get on out my face. Get on out of here. So we end up dumping on this thing. They have a Ranguru. Probably, if I, if I had to guess, it would be Ursaluna, right? Don't lower your speed. Cool, it doesn't lower speed. So I would think Ursaluna would be the final Pokemon. Ursaluna and a Ranguru. And we'll see who they want to bring out here. They're going to bring out Ursaluna. So they want the Trick Room turns. So they really want to thrive out here. Now, the question is... How slow are you, Empoleon? How slow are you? 80. I'm really hoping you would go for a ground move up against me, and I can just terrestrialize and pop like a Hydra Pump again. Just rip into this. Or I could just go for backing wave. It is special. It does go first, too. Not bad. Not bad. We could get off some damage. And just save our Terra, because I could save my Terra and then maybe just protect some turns out with Blaze again. And Fluttermane. It's tough news. I'm gonna vacuum move this thing. I'm gonna look to just chunk up some damage. I'm just gonna get a Tailwind here. Why did, wait, did I press Tailwind? Why did I press Tailwind? I meant to, I meant to use Bleak Wind Storm. So now I'm Terrasalizing our Saluna. Probably going straight normal, right? Yeah, so vacuum move was the solid call. And we'll see how this speed actually goes out. I wanna see how the speed actually works here. The vacuum wave is going to fly here. It does huge damage. Half damage is beautiful. The tailwind's going to fly. I don't know why I used tailwind. I didn't even mean that. I meant to use bleak wind storm. Hyper voice is going to fly. Because I want to see who is faster. Is that point on eats? When you're going for make it rain, I kind of hope you're going for make it rain. I kind of hope you're going for make it rain. And you go for shadow ball. So, wow. Yeah, bleak wind storm would have been an awesome turn for us. Oh my god, and I get, I get the vacuum wave here. I get the vacuum wave. I get the vacuum wave. He's gonna protect Ursaluna, right? He's gotta protect Ursaluna. I'm gonna go for Hydra Pump in this slot, and I, I cannot believe I just did that. You gotta protect Ursaluna. No, you just go for vacuum wave yourself. Okay, so smart play for him. But at least we get to waste out another uh, Trick Room turn, which is pretty big for us. The Trick Room is getting wasted right here. Shadow Ball is gonna fly. That's just gonna take us out. But another trick room turn wasted. I can't believe I used Tailwind though. Oh wow, I survived. That's massive. And Bleak Wind Storm is landing on who? Landing on Ursuline, which is solid. So from here, um I could protect. I could save Fluttermane. Who would I rather have? I kinda need Fluttermane to get rid of. Actually, both these guys could get rid of gold golden go. But I wanna see how many turns are left in trick room. That's the real question. But I mean, from here, we could just go in a Fluttermane to protect. Um, we could Stellar Terror type as well. Huh. Real tough here. Real tough. I'll just go into Blaze again. I'll go into Blaze again. Um, okay, so from here, this is where things get a little weird. Because he's just going to Hyper Voice me and attack me. But there's one turn left in Trick Room, so it works perfectly. It works so perfectly. Now I can just protect you. Go into... I mean, Tailwind's fine, but... We're just gonna pop Bleakwind Storm here and allow this guy to die out, right? Allow my Tornados to die out. Trick Room will be gone. I can then bring out Fluttermane. I will have Speed Boost Blaze can ready to go. I can just rip a Dazzling Gleam alongside with a Flare Blitz. Oh, baby, I love where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. Love where we're sitting. So we wasted out the Trick Room turns perfectly. I, can't, I still can't believe I popped that Tailwind just in the middle of Trick Room. Our opponent was probably like, what are you doing? It was just a misclick. I meant to go Bleak Wind Storm there. But hey, it actually kind of worked out because we'll have a turn in Tailwind next turn. They ends up going for a Hyper Voice here. We're going to block it up. No problem. And it's going to take out Tornadas. So, I mean, their best bet would to be probably pop like a... Would probably be to pop like a Nasty Plot here. And they don't. Because I was going to say, they should pop a Nasty Plot and then protect and then have a Ranguru come out here there with, like, follow me. And then just start spamming, make it rain, stuff like that. But from here, now I get the nice little speed boost. I get to go into Flutter Main. And I get the Flare Blitz to Golden Go alongside with a... With a what's it called? A Stellar Terror Type, right? Do I Stellar? Do I Stellar Terror Type? Yeah, I like that the best. Definitely want a Stellar Terror Type. So we'll go Flare Blitz here into that slot. We will Stellar Terra. I'll just Dazzling Gleam. Just so I can finish off the Ursuluna. And on top of that, chip up a tad bit of damage on the Gold Go. 
And this is how I usually like to play Blaziken a bit more. I feel like it's so much better. Like, it's good when you can set it up early. But it's so much better as a back-end threat. Because then you can come in late game, have that speed boost ready to go, and just be able to dump on late game Pokemon by using close combat and big time damage moves like Flare Blitz. That you're going to take mean recoil or mean defensive drops with, so... It's always good for late game. So I'm going to Stellar Terror type to Flutter Main. It's going to vacuum lead me. How dare you? How dare you do that? And Dazzling Gleam is going to get cooking. It's going to get cooking. So we're going to say bye-bye to Ursa Luna. And don't worry, Golden Go. You're up next, buddy. We're just going to drop a nice big time Flare Blitz. That I know is going to KO this thing. I know it's going to KO. I get the close combat, then the KO the Gage of Fire. Plus three. But this Flare Blitz is 1,000% KO in this Golden Go. Get it on out of here. Golden Go, get on out of here. So now they're down to their final Pokemon, and it's their support Pokemon. It's gonna be a Rangaroo. And guess what, guys? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Yo, we take some mean damage. <laughs> Whenever we use Flare Blitz, we take some mean damage. We take some mean damage. Both times I was in like the hundreds, and I just dropped to almost red. It's just insane. So there's the lovely little Orangaroo. From here, I get to drop a big time close combat. And on top of that, switch to Moon Blast, which gets a nice little bit terror boost. Oh, actually, no, it won't get the Terra Boost, because we already used our Fairy Move Terra Boost. But hey, that's fine. Moon Blast. Going to be using it all day. But they end up just canceling battle. There it is. One and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Trick Room, Trick Room, Trick Room. We're versing Trick Room in match number three. We versed it in the last match. This team is obviously Trick Room with Farigraph and Arachmanid. They also have another Trick Room setter with Sinisha. So two Trick Room setters, Farigraph with Sinisha, and then they have Enamors and Ursula. So I can't really counter Trick Room if they go Farigraph, right? Because if they go Farigraph, I can't taunt it due to its ability. So maybe we just let them set up Trick Room and we kind of get after it from there, right? Because I would think like Farigraph would be the lead. So I could go Empoleon again, because Empoleon, they do want to lead a Pokemon like it's in which I'm really hoping they do. I could just competitive boost again. That worked out so well because I was able to just do some big time damage on the Pokemon. So I mean, it's tough, though. I could go Amoongus. I definitely want Amoongus because I could Spore and waste on turns super easily. So I'm going to go Amoongus as back end. I'm going to go Empoleon for the lead alongside with Blaziken or Roaring Moon. I'm going to go Roaring Moon here. I'm going to go Roaring Moon with you and then late game Blaziken to clean up the mess and win us the match. That's what I'm doing. Let's get after it. One and one for today's video. Wish we were two and zero oh because that first match we did set up Blaziken super super well. Put Galaxy Fire to sleep, but just not being able to KO Galaxy Fire was such a big time loss for us, right? Leaving it on like two three HP. I'll call it a one HP bandit, right? That was low enough to to call one HP, right? Yeah, I'll say it. that was a one HP bandit. <laughs> but we'll see who they want to lead here and who they're gonna get after, and they're gonna go into my man Pots and Pans in Cinema. We love it. We love it. That's back to back battles. Where we can pop this competitive ability and really start to get after it. So chances are they'll probably fake out Empoleon, if anything. If not, they're going to lose their Incineroar. So they want to set up Trick Room. We already know that's that's happening. They're going to intimidate me. So I kind of want to maybe just take that back. But actually, let's just Hydro Pump here. And I could just go for a knockoff and just take off this thing's item. Probably best bet, right? So who are you going to fake out? That's the real question. going to fake out. Okay, he's going to fake out the Roar Moon. So we can say bye-bye to Incineroar as long as we just land his Hydro Pump, right? My man, Empoleon. My man, Empoleon. Just getting rid of him. That's the same thing that happened each match. They're like, all right, we'll fake out. Actually, they faked out my Empoleon in the last one. But it's just so funny how that worked out. And then it's just like, Hydro Pump, see you later, Incineroar. Get it on out my face. So Empoleon just totally countering Incineroar in today's video. So now they're going to throw out Ursaluna. So now Ursaluna is a little odd here because... He can just rip into my Empoleon at any time, unless I use a nice little Grass Terror, which probably, probably my best bet. Probably my best bet. So you know what? I'm going to do that, and do I rip an Ice Beam? He might just protect this turn, to be honest. He might just protect just to get Guts Trigger. You don't have Guts Trigger. Maybe I just go after Farigaraph. I kind of just want to go after Farigaraph. I'm going to double down on Frigograph. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. Actually, we should go for a Flash Cannon instead, but I'm running out of time. I think he protects the Ursaluna here. And we just withdraws Frigi. Okay, I mean, Ursaluna, what are you really going to do? I'm going to withdraw Frigograph, and he's going to go into who here? 
Here you got Enavis. Okay, so Ice Beam's actually a great call for us. Flash Cannon would have been better. And they're just going to Terrastalize Ursaloon. So Ursaloon is going to get the Terror here. Good thing I didn't attack and he's going to go Grass. Oh, wow, actually Ice Beam would have worked well on that. I do have Blaziken for that. I do have Blaziken, but I can't put that thing to sleep or Rage Powder shot, so... We'll see what he wants to do here. I would think maybe a ground move would come out here. EQ? Yeah, EQ sounds like the best bet. Because for some reason, I don't know why, but Warren Moon's not flying type or doesn't have Levitate. So it gets hit by EQ, even though it's legit flying in the air right now. It is in the air. And Roar Moon, gonna take some damage. Does not die out, which is great. Ice Moon's gonna be able to fly. Gonna be able to dump on Enamor. So Empoleon is lighting it up right now. Empoleon, chill on him. Knockoff's gonna slide over here, and we get rid of the Flame Orb. That is huge. That is huge how that just worked out for me. No Flame Orb for you. No Flame Orb for you. So Frig Rap comes out here. We gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room, because I have great Pokemon in the back end. That boy's going to clean this one up. Three turns left in Trick Room. Now, that's a little rough. Now, three turns in Trick Room is a little rough. Three turns in Trick Room is a little rough. So, I'm going to go here. Um, and I'm just going to go for a knockoff here. Three turns in Trick Room is off. Maybe I should have protected the, the, the board. Here. Just, to, just to keep it for another turn. He ends up going for a play rough, which I'm able to soon. We love that. And Ice Beam's able to fly. We're slower than Fergie. So, yo, Empoleon is just sweeping in Trick Room right now. They have Trick Room up. And Empoleon is just wiping them out. Wow, what a great third and final battle for us. Hyper Voice flies here. We're going to get the sweep. We are going to get this sweep because Knockoff's going to deal some damage. Empoleon can go next. As long as I land his Hydra Pump, we would win. But I think they just cancel battle regardless. Knockoff coming out here, even though we're minus one. Still doing some nice damage to Fur Graph. But I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon instead. Just for a little bit of stab damage. And then go for Knockoff. But again, they're going to cancel battle all day. That's going to be sweet. No problem. Jeans with the sweep. And if not, Competitive Empoleon should be able to take out with this Flash Cannon, right? Should be able to. Yeah, they stay in. Come on, Empoleon. For the sweep. Four kills. Oh, my lord. Empoleon MVP match number three. Absolutely insane. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, this video was about Blaziken. We got to use it in match number one, match number two, and fully showcase the power of it with Sword Stance and Speed Boost. But in match number three, Empoleon stole the show. Its ability competitive is amazing when going up against Incineroars. A lot of people just love to lead Incineroar. So leading Empoleon, like we did in match number two and match number three, allows us to go plus two, no problem on special attack, and start lighting up the rank ladder, which is exactly what we did. We one shot at the uh the Ursa Luna, we one shot at who else? The Enamorous, we one shot at the Rigoraph, we one shot at the uh, Incineroar. Just picked up four KOs with them. So, really, really fun to get to use that Pokemon in match number three, considering you don't really get to see Empoleon thrive out too much on the rank ladder. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.